Hello, I'm Mrs. Curtis. Today we're going to talk about multiplying triple digits by double digits. So let's get started. Multiplying triple digits by double digits can be very hard for some. So today I'm going to present you with another visual method. To begin today, we're going to talk about the traditional method. In the traditional method, when we multiply 124 times 56, we start out by multiplying the 1's. 6 times 4 is 24, write your 4, regroup your 2. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 more is 14, write your 4, regroup your 1. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Now that we multiply now that we've multiplied the 1's, we move on to multiply the 10's. When you multiply the 10's, you always put a 0 for a placeholder. So you multiply 5 times 4, which is 20. You write your 0, regroup your 2. And then move to the next one. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 more is 12. Write your 2, regroup your 1. And then move on to the last one. 5 times 1 is 5. Now that you have the two products, you need to add them together. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 0 is 4. 7 plus 2 is 9. And 0 plus 6 is 6. The traditional method is easy for some and not so very easy for others. So today I'm going to teach you about the matrix method. When I say the matrix method, I want you to think of a box. In step one of the matrix method, you when you're multiplying 124 times 56, you first separate the number by place value. 124 is equal to 100 plus 20 plus 4. And 56 is equal to 50 plus 6. Now that you have the numbers separated, you need to insert them into your matrix. I prefer to write the larger numbers across the top and the smaller numbers down the side. You can write them whichever way is easiest for you to understand. So step three, you multiply out. 50 times 100 equals 5,000. You're going to use this matrix just similar to how you would use a multiplication table. Next, you're going to multiply 50 times 20, which equals 1,000. And you're going to write the product in the corresponding box. Next, you're going to multiply 50 times 4, which equals 200. Now we're going to move down to the next row. 6 times 100 equals 600. 6 times 20 equals 120. And 6 times 4 equals 124. In step four, you're going to add all the products together. We're going to start by adding the, the columns together. 5,000 plus 600 equals 5,600. 1,000 plus 120 equals 1,120. 200 plus 24 equals 224. Now I'm not going to start stop there. I will add, now add all the products together in the rows so that I can check my answers later. So 500 plus 1,000 plus 20 equals 6,200. And 600 plus 120 plus 24 equals 744. Now we're not finished yet. Step 5, you add all of the sums together. So for this, we'll start by at the bottom, 5,600 plus 1,120 plus 224 equals 6,944. Now we're going to check our answers by adding the sums together of the rows. 6,200 plus 744 equals 6,944. 
Now we've checked our work, and we found that we've got two of the same answers, so we know that we've solved the problem correctly. Now let's review. We used a more visual method. Step 1, separate the number by place value. Step 2, insert the separated numbers. Step 3, multiply out. Step 4, add the products. Step 5, add the sums. And step 6, check your work as always. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this helps you and provides you another method of solving multiplication problems that might be of a challenge to you. And I hope you have a great day.